precision. Smaller word to that means precise, means very, very accurate and detailed. So we want to be good at catching pucks and make it stay in the glove. We want to be good at having pucks go off our blocker to the corner. Any pucks on our body, we want to try to stick it in there and gut trap it. If we're in our butterfly, we want to be good at getting our stick involved. So today's lesson, let's think of the word precise, precision. We want to be very controlled and accurate. Let's start with some skating, okay? Step on that, I'll show you what our first drill is going to be. We're going to start on the post. We're going to come across to the top of the crease. Shuffle, 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 and then back in. And then you come back out and you repeat it again. So you're going to go over and back. And that's the repetition. Yep, you just T push out to here, or C cut up to here. Now shuffle, shuffle. That's it. That'll go. And then let's go back. Keep that stick flat. Look out at the play. Look out at the play. I had a girl. Excellent. Now watch this. Back up a little bit. We're going to do three challenges. One to here, to here, and to here. So you're going to hug the post. And whenever you feel like it, you're going to step out. Back to that post. Out to the top of the crease. Back to here. Long one to here. And then a long one back. Okay. So bingo, bango, bingo. Three off of this post, and then we repeat it on the opposite side. Because what we do to our left, we gotta do to our right. Push out, and back, middle, and back. Long one, and back. And switch posts there, Steph. Step out, had a girl. Push back out to the middle, hard, that's it. Nice, and the long one. Awesome. Now, we're gonna do one more with a build up on that where we add a feature. We're gonna add a feature to that one and then we get a little bit of a drinky poo. So, now, when you step out to here, like we just did, you stop and you do a violent knee drive where I hear your knees hit the ice hard. Then you get up and go back. You come on out, hard butterfly back to the post. Over to here, hard butterfly and back to the post. So same drill we just did, but now when you get to the top of the crease, let's do a hard butterfly, okay? Yeah, get a good pivot, step over there, that's it. Hard knee drive. Good step, nice. Awesome. Last one. Left, left, that a girl. Middle. Hard knees, hard knees. Get back here, get back here. Excellent, last one. And you have earned yourself your first drink. Let, you wanna go get a sip? Get a little sip. We're gonna spend some time today working on white pucks, visual acuity, seeing the puck against its background, and concentration. Now, I invented white pucks back in the late 80s, before your mommy and your daddy even knew each other. And the reason I did it was because I wanted to make pucks hard to see. And I used a baseball example. There used to be a Major League Baseball hitter, and his name I think was Jeffries, and his dad put a pitching machine in a barn, dimmed down the lights so you could hardly even see, like at night. And the guy would pitch the ball at him, and he could hit that ball even in a darkened building. And then when he went out to play Major League Baseball, he could see that white baseball with the red seams on it so easy. So I originally started these by doing white rubberized roofing compound. That would flake off. And then I had a company in the United States start making them for me. And do you know, we also have clear pucks. You can completely see through them. And mini pucks that I also invented. So we're gonna spend some time today sharpening up your eyes and your vision. You already do a great job watching that puck all the way into your glove. Today we're gonna to make it even harder by using my white pucks. Sound like a plan? All right, let's get started. Stick handle one lap with that puck, stick handle. All right, Stephanie, jump in the net here. And we wanna work on our vision and watching this puck in. So I'm gonna start you in your butterfly right here and I'm gonna float some white pucks up to your glove. Now, you've heard the term tracking before. Yeah. Tracking is a made up word that somebody wanted to try smart. It's also called a buzzword. 
You don't need to track the puck, Stephanie. You just need to watch the puck. It's very simple. If you watch the puck, you watch the players on the ice, it's very simple. Goaltending's not complicated. And you're an expert at showing me how great you are with your gloves. So let's jump in your butterfly right here. And let's look out. As I float these white pucks in, a couple mechanical things that we want to make sure you're doing a great job is as this puck is coming in, I want it to hit the pocket first, out in front of your body like you've got it here. Close your glove and make good double eye contact on that. So watch it all the way in. You don't have to track it, you just have to watch it. Squeeze it. We're gonna do four or five sequences in a row of that. So we're gonna make sure we get five or six really good examples where it sticks in your glove. Yeah. All right. Take number two. Turn your head, watch it all the way in there. Nice, squeeze it. Last one. All right, let's do one more set of those. And I know you've went viral online with your amazing glove saves, so we're gonna do some more. But hey, make sure you turn your head. Nice, squeeze, squeeze that glove, closed. Nice. Okay, last puck. Put your hands behind your back, and I'm gonna float an easy one in off your head. Oh, you can't catch, you gotta let it hit you in the head. It won't be too hard, trust me. It'll be a muffin. It'll be a muffin. Let's use your head on this one. Oh, see, you did it. Good work. All right. We're gonna do the same sequence now, but we're gonna go to your blocker side. And I want you to see, in your mind's eye, that puck denting in the front of your blocker. So you're gonna watch that puck dent the front of your blocker, and as it hits your blocker, you turn your head, and you watch that puck go to the corner neatly, okay? So let's get some blocker saves in here. These five will be good. Okay. Turn it, put it to the corner. Nice, that's the perfect one. Last one. All right, let's do one more set of those. Turn it right to the corner neatly. Nice. Perfect. Two more. Last one. Oh, that's bad on me. So all you're gonna do when I call shot, I want you to push off that post and as you're traveling through here, pop up to your stance so you arrive here up on your feet. So you push slide early and then arrive here on your feet and then I'll put a shot on you. shot nice so one thing we want to do here is when you're down in the reverse and you're on this post you're going to want to take that weight of your body and you got to push off of it so this leg points and then as you arrive you get up so you're on this post here and as you push off of it you point your toe where you want to go you push and as you're sliding then you get up and arrive at the top of the crease. So get a good push with your right leg off that post. Shot. Push off. It's hard. Try it. Point your toe at me. Point. Watch this. Yeah. You're going to point the lead skate like this, right where you want to go. And now you're going to push off. And as you're coming, then you step up. Let's try a couple before we get a live shot in here. So point your left skate where you want to go and then push and you arrive up there. Let's try two more like that and then we'll build in a shot. Push, point your toe and push. Let's do one more like that. Don't forget to point your left foot where you're going. Ready, go. And this time turn your head early so you see where you're going. Go. There it is. There it is. Now we'll stop the puck on the end. Give me another good one like that. I'll call you when it's time. Nice. 
Don't worry, I won't hit you, Nate. I've only killed three cameramen in my days. Shot. Perfect. See how good you're getting at that now? You're popping right out there. I love it. Shot. All right, two more. Shot. Look at that. Last one. Good. Shot. Excellent. Now, what we do to our left, we do to our right. And this will be the same exact thing, but we got to reverse it. So let's try one. We're going to do a build up before I put the pucks in. Let's get you on that post and you reverse. So same thing happens here. You point this toe where you want to go and you push and you try to make that first push come off the post. So try it again where you use the post to leverage and push. So push off the post all at the same time. Yep. Now that's two steps. Try to make it one step. We do a hard push and get a good flow going. There, that's even the best one. Give me one more. Turn your head early and look where you're going. Look where you're going. Excellent job. Let's stop some white pucks here, miss. All right, here we go. Ready? Shot. Watch it all the way in. Got four more shots here. Get right up on that post. Put your foot right up on the post. Excellent. You can use toe bridge. You know what? When we say toe bridge, what that means is right in, just underneath the pad like that. You got them pretty tight. Or you can put your skate on the post like that. So lean over here. Now you're going to push off that post when I say shot and come on out. All right, that's it. Perfect. Ready? Let's do it again. Get that skate on the post. Shot. Point your toe. Great save. Three more. Tried to hit you with it. Let's do three more. Shot. Excellent. Excellent save. Let's do two more. And I'm going to try my hardest on these two. Are you going to stop it? Shot. Oh, nice save. Last one. job today, Steph. Awesome. We'll get a drink.